you're living in you know terrible conditions, if you've contacted NYCHA and NYCHA isn't helping you, we're here to help. From kitchens falling apart. This is my kitchen, which was supposed to be a kitchen. To the bugs. Ooh, roaches. To broken elevators. So you were stuck on the 25th floor. It's a long way down. Three tenants from the Red Hook houses in Brooklyn filed a potential class action against NYCHA Wednesday. They want the city to give them the rent back and they're suing for damages. Their lawyer is Jenny Kim from the law firm Berg and Androphy. Our class action lawsuit is different because our class action lawsuit is alleging a breach of contract. I mean, that's a very legalistic term, but every, well, every resident of New York who rents an apartment knows that you enter into a lease agreement with your landlord. And in that agreement, your landlord makes certain promises to you. Kim says the city broke that promise to provide decent, safe and sanitary housing and should pay. Two of our Monica Makes It Happen stories are cited in support of the complaint. Kim says the suit brought by NYCHA residents accuses the city's public housing agency of, quote, severe neglect. And they have the pictures and videos to support their case. Kim is now actively calling for the hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers who call NYCHA home to join the fight. We're here to help. You know, and that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to find real relief for tenants for the first time. Kim says there is, quote, a long litany of misery inflicted on NYCHA residents from gas outages, mold, leaks, infestations, elevator outages, broken intercoms and security cameras. How much is all this worth? Talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, but of rent abatement. And we should tell you they need the court to certify the case as a class action. NYCHA tells us it will review the complaint when they get it. We'll have more information on our website, of course, at pix11.com. I have the complaint here. Um, and obviously, this is going to be an evolving thing where, you know, they're asking for more stories, sure. more people to contact them. But they've been watching our coverage mm -hmm. and they're using video and pictures and the complaints, the actual complaints that residents have been filing as evidence in this case. So if... If they win this case, rent abatement meaning people would get free rent or would get back rent or what would that they mean? They would get the back rent and they would also possibly get damages is what uh, mm. Jen, Jenny was telling us. And also, um, you know, this is a, several years a process. Sure, of you course. know, we've been covering so many other class actions for mold, for mm -hmm. lead, um, which again took years in court. So this is just the beginning of the process, but they say they're in it for the long haul. Yeah, so we're going to be watching. Three families so far. Three families, and they expect after all the media and right. um, putting it out there, they're going to get other families as well. All right. Well, now you'll be following it. Monica, thank well. you.